Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 10, Climbing the Ladder, our Football Manager 20 Journeyman save. So uh, we ended up playing Queen of the South off camera, beat them 2-0, Bobby Brindle and Daniel Ray Devaney with goals. Um, we're going to be playing Hamilton Reserves in the Earnbrew Cup today, and then Brora. Brora is picked to finish right above us in the league, so... As I mentioned last episode, I think they'll be a good measuring stick for us to see how we might really do. Uh, <laughs> and I am sticking with the 442. In my personal save with Leeds, we finished runners up to uh, Liverpool uh, in the last season I just finished. And so now we're considered one of the top four or five teams in the Premier, Divi Premier Division. So what I've done is I've transitioned from these underdog style tactics into a uh, some of the more sub sub top teams is what Knapp calls them. So he has his tactics broken out. Typically it was a plug and play in previous versions. This one you kind of have to experiment a little bit more look around and kind of gauge but uh so you have your top teams which are your liverpool your your arsenal man city man united and then you've got your sub tops which are your tottenham's chelsea's you know right in that group uh, maybe leicester maybe and then uh then below that then you get into your underdogs and then your sub underdog which is your your bottom when you're going to be going uh you know probably in a relegation battle so those are uh, the ones I've got right now are a four, two, three attacking midfielders and one up top. And I'm actually doing pretty well. Um, we haven't, I mean, we're, you know, we're doing very well. So, you know, it just shows, but if I played with those tactics now, I would get wiped because I have, I've, I've tried them in the past. Anyway, let's get into it. We are playing Hamilton Reserves. They are pretty heavily favored. Uh, the Reserve League. If we look at the senior squad. Okay, so the senior squad's in the Premiership, which is also where Ross County is. And they are second in the table right now. Wow. All right, so we're pretty heavy underdogs and on the road. So we're going to go with this big away tactic. This is when you're playing a bigger side. So that's good. We're going to go with Monroe Jones. Oh, I want to, do I dare? I think I dare. I want to see how MacArthur does. I want to, I mean, he scored so many goals last year. Monroe's a much better player, but, and I'm going to give McGinney a start too, because this is a cut match. We got to play some of those guys, right? I think. All right, let's go with that. MacArthur, need to get some match sharpness into him as well. McGinney's been an unhappy camper just because he's not playing. And he was, you know, that's how it goes, man. All right, challenge the team. And you can min-max your team talks a little bit. I don't get, you know, I don't do that all the time. Let's get creative. Off the woodwork, bends it just wide, right outside the box. All right, we're in the yellow kits today. McKenzie's been booked. Uh, I'm going to demand more now. All right, we've got about 10 minutes left in the first half. We're not getting blown off the pitch, so... I'm going to move to our regular away tactic. It's a little bit more attacking. And looks like we had a foul right outside the box. That's a dangerous spot. Oh, knocked away by McGinney. Very nice. Good save there, Mr. Goalkeeper. We even have fans in the second deck here, or they do. All right, lumped in, headed out. Beatty clears it nice. All right. Still playing well. 
All right, we might be able to nick this, boys. All right, encourage the team. You watch your step. And I am going to uh, demand more right from the get-go. Get them focused right out of the gate. Boy, football manager is blowing up my Twitter feed today. All right. All right, let's go ahead. MacArthur, let's bring on Monroe. We need a goal here. McKenzie, mid-center left. Roy Dell Smith, really good first touch. Good passer. Not much in the way of pace. But you know what? I think that's what we need up in that. That's a that's a playmaker position. I need the passing more than I need push forward. All right. Oh, Gibson into the box. It's there. Oh, Jones with a shot gets knocked away. It wasn't a good shot, but it was a shot. Damn, damn. All right, boys, come on. All right, I'm thinking Reynolds or Christie. He's got a good cross, good pace. Christie, yeah, I'm going to put Christie in for Ray Devaney. And we are going to ask him to show some passion. We're already on attacking. We have been. Good ball. Good defense. Nice, nice. Jones, can we get the counter? No, we can't. Pressure, pressure. Shit. Come on, boys. Control the ball. Oh, nice, nice. All right, Smith with some space. Out to Brindle. Brindle crosses it. Christie, it's in. Brian Jones, his second of the season. All right. Um, stop. Hammer time. No. Um, all right. We're going to go back to the big away. Yes. That's what we're going to do. It's all the same players, same shape. Oh, that was nice. Out to Brindle. One touch. Quickly crossed it back. Christie heads it down. Christie's the one I brought in for Ray Devaney. And Jones slots that one past the keeper. All right, let's tell him to... Not going to tell him anything. And we win! Yes! All right. 18 to 8. We end up really dominating the shots. Probably could have went with that attacking tactic from the get-go now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. But we were we were the underdogs. We had no idea that was going to happen. Ross County Reserves win over Brora on penalties. We win, and Queen of the South beat Eridonians. And they are a League One side. So that was, you know... That's not as impressive as our win, right? All right, Christie makes his debut, and he had the assist. Very nice. Jones, I'm going to tell him he was good because he got the goal to win the game. We'll be back for Brewer Rangers in just a second, guys. I was just reading a tweet. Uh, so Brighton has a, a player named Ben White who, who is on loan at Leeds this season. Uh, Scott Murray's out six to eight weeks, uh, and he he's really, really good. And I know that there is a lot of hope, uh, myself included, that we can buy him, assuming we get promoted at the end of the season. If, if you know, depending on what happens, if there's no promotions, it, it, there's no shot of that happening. Uh, but if we do get promoted... I would love the opportunity. I would, I would hope Leeds would go after him with, with everything. But anyway, um, there was evidently a young Leeds fan that wrote a letter to Brighton saying that, you know, hey, he's my favorite player. And, you know, is there any way we can buy, you know, that Leeds could buy him? I'd be willing to donate all my money 
It was pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> and they actually wrote back to him, which was kind of even funnier. Let's see. He's almost as good as Brindle, and he's got a lot of upside. How old is he? 21. He is Welsh, so he's not Scottish. What's our finances look like? We are losing money. That's that's the problem. I don't really want to add payroll, but he would be a really good signing. Yeah, I can't do it. Not I, I can't spend the money. I'm going to add him to a short list, though, just because he looks really good. But, yeah, the fact that the club wrote him back I thought was really, fun, really cool. And, you know, people make fun. Michael Kamezi out on loan. Yep. You know, I think all of us as fans, I think we all get giddy when we're able to meet someone famous that we, you know, whether it be a, a musician, an actor, a, a, you know, a football player, a American or European, or, you know, I, I think we all still get giddy and it doesn't matter if you're five or 50, you know? So people that give us a hard time for wanting autographs, I still collect autographs and I still have all the autographs. I've never sold one. Uh, any autograph that I got growing up, I still have. And I treasure all of them because, you know, they're a part of who I am as a person because me as a person, I put into being a fan. All right, we're playing Broer. We're on the road. They're actually favorites but i don't think they're a bigger team so we're going to go with our standard away tactic we're going to put monroe in so monroe jones brindle devaney ray devaney mckenzie Beatty, wallace sainsbury avenel mcgregor and johnson back in the goal yeah i think mcginney was hoping to be the keeper this year but uh and we couldn't find another keeper so uh, Ross County let us have Johnson back, and he played really well last year. So, and he's he's better than McGinney, not by a ton, but he's much younger. He's like three or four years younger as well. So, all right, we're holding, we're holding possession. So let's get creative. There's one into the box, a header. Joshua McGregor comes off the back line, puts Ray Devaney's corner into the net for his second goal of the season, and we are up 1-0. That is nice. Nice work by the center back to put us on the scoreboard. Another Ray Devaney corner. Jackson comes out and makes the play there. Who's uh oh that was McGregor challenging again. Oh, he's pressuring the goalkeeper. All right, Sainsbury, back up. Little flick on header. All right, we're blasting the ball a little too much, I think. I'd like to see a little more patience. All right, well, maybe not that much patience. How about pass the ball to somebody that, oh, what a shot, Danny Scugall. First goal of the season. Oh, and he was marked. He had a man on him. That's disappointing. Uh, we're going to demand more coming out of that. All right. Nice little chest out. Laid off to Beatty. Finds Ray Devaney. He's into the box, and I thought there was a handball there. Oh, a header missed by McGregor. And Schoongall, 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 not Schoongall. There's no N in there. Come on, RC, read the screen. Danny Schoongall, his second goal. That was horrible. Let me check this tactic. All right, I do have the offsides trap off. So we're okay there. Can we show some passion? Fire him up again. All right, into the box, headed out. No, come on. There it is. There it is. Shit. Got to make better opportunities there. Oh, an own goal. 
Canes puts one in. Cairns, Cairns. Now he's got an R. Couldn't see it on my screen here. Ross Cairns. Oh, that was unlucky on their part. But you know what? We're going to lap that up like we love it. God, that made me think of that scene in the movie The Dirt. You guys know the scene I'm talking about? Oh, good job. Oh, what a lay-in in Monroe. Come on. You've got to do a better job than that. All right, we're handling the match. Avenel's lost possession. Come on, boys. I'm going to go passionate. Ooh, let's go with the revenge factor. Revenge is always juicy. And it's a dish best served cold, from what I understand. Get creative. All right, they lump it out. Headed on. Avenel. All right, Monroe. Beats his man. Oh, little stutter step. Wallace gets the deflection. He plays it into the box. Oh, Ray Deve Oh, what a... Oh, my God, what a save! The deflection and the pass, the drop pass to Ray Devaney, I thought that was in the net. And that is so unlucky. I thought we had the ball there, too. That was a hell of a save by their keeper. Oh, my goodness. All right, that one goes high. All right, let's evaluate here. All right, Monroe's not playing great. Jones is tired, so let's bring MacArthur on for him. Brindle for... Let's bring Jim Gibson on for McGregor. Now, Gibson, not the best center back. Beatty is a... Eh, he's not very pacey. He's not either. Who else can play defensive center? Let's undo that move. What about Wallace? Wallace, I think, is a better center back option. And then, yeah, then we can bring Calvin Jack on. Jack was our starter last year. All right, let's show some passion. All right, Wallace is frustrated. Fair enough, he just came in. A long set piece. Oh, what the hell was that? That was brutal. Damn it. All right, you know what? We're going to have to go. We're going to have to. We're going to up our. Ah, damn it. Demand more. All right. Brindle for Baxter. Come on, be a super sub for us. Ray Devaney's tired too. I'm going to have to probably rest him. Hey, Bo. Hopefully my power doesn't go out and ruin the recording. This is going to disappoint me. God damn it. I'm not sure how we're going to do this year because, you know, we, we, we are promoted. So, you know, damn, that's, that's disappointing. Yeah, I mean, we're we're picked eighth, so we're not expected to do great. They're supposedly twice as good as us in the scheme of things. So we played them close, so I'm happy with that. But we're going to have to find a way to steal a couple of these matches here. And then always be, and then sweep air and queen of the south. Oh, that's disappointing. But still, I mean, we got a, we've got a couple of wins. All right, well, let's come back for... Where's Livingston play? They're in the championship, which is one level above us. So, again, we should lose that match. But, and how are we supposed to do there, the Urn Brew? Just to be competitive. I think we've won a match. We've already been competitive but you know cup matches are neat we get to see clubs from you know that we normally won't play so why don't we come back for that and let's come back um you know what no we're not 
I'm going to come back for Inverness, Inverness and Air United. Inverness, if I remember my geography correctly, and Scottish geography was way at the top of my list of classes to take in school here in America. Uh, <laughs> but I want to say Inverness is on the shores of Loch Ness. Pretty sure that's an accurate statement. I believe there's a castle there that I've read about. Or maybe there's not. I could be making that up. Um, I think that's good good information, though. But uh, let's come back for Inverness and Air United. Air United is one of these bottom-of-the-table teams that we should destroy. So, yeah, let's let's get a chunk of games in here. That's, that's going to be five more matches. That's not horrible. And then let's get up to Inverness Air United. One of the higher teams that's underperforming and then a bottom of the table team that is picked to finish below us. So we should be able, we should beat them even in an away match. I think that's what I'm going to do. Well guys hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you don't mind. Ah, <sighs> God, hopefully we, uh, we can eke this season out and not get sent down. We'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.